Hello guys and welcome. In today's video I will present you one really miniature soldering iron. The brand is Kai Weeds, it's a Chinese brand and you probably haven't heard of it, but it's quite aggressive on the market. They are manufacturing lots of stuff, measuring tools, thermal cameras, soldering irons and so on. Here I have one of their latest products, an intelligent electric soldering iron. I have to admit they know how to pack the product, it looks more like a cell phone or a cell phone accessory. The soldering iron is really miniature, it has the size of a pen and its power source is also miniature a 65 watts charging adapter beneath the soldering iron we can find a second box with the remaining accessories a soldering iron stand USB-C power cable and six different soldering iron tips the stand is made from bakelite so no chance to melt take a look at the power delivery cable the manufacturing quality is amazing and it's amazingly flexible the soldering tips are wrapped individually and labeled correspondingly so you can later easily reorder if you need the soldering iron itself if i'm not totally wrong the body is made from aluminium with the rubberized elements for a better grip. It's equipped with a convenient cap for protecting the tip. Finally, the charger, the power delivery adapter equipped with USB-A and USB-C ports. If you try to power on the device without a soldering tip, you'll get the following animation. So let's install one of the soldering tips. The process is super easy. Powering on the device after installing a soldering tip and we will get another animation prompting us to press the left button if we want to start the heating process. So let's press it. Now we can see a lot more information. The temperature on the tip of the soldering iron, the operating voltage, the temperature the device is set on and below is the power consumption bar here i have one aten soldering station the st8802 which is twice more expensive than the kaiwitz and 10 times its size of course it features an additional hot air gun but that's not important right now what's important is that its soldering iron is rated the same 65 watts as the kaiwitz and currently the two soldering irons are equipped with the same shape of the soldering tip to evaluate how fast they heat up i wrapped absolutely the same amount of soldering tin around their tips the soldering tin is manufactured by interflux electronics and it has a melting temperature of about 183 degrees celsius the soldering irons are set to the same temperature of 280 degrees celsius the temperature on the tip of the devices is about the same Let's press the two buttons and see which one of them will reach the melting temperature of the tin faster. And I think we have a clear winner, the Kaiwitz. And few seconds later is the Aten. Let's try the same with a thicker tin and a higher temperature of 350 degrees Celsius. The temperature on the two tips is once again about the same. And again, the winner is Kai Weeds. This time, the heating of Kai Weeds was even more rapid.
After showing you that's not a toy, let's return to the air cool functions of the device. It's super easy to regulate the temperature using the two arrows here. It can be regulated ranging from 80 up to 420 degrees Celsius. In settings menu, the user can change the brightness of the display. Manually change the operating voltage. Change the orientation of the display and the arrow keys depending whether it's left-handed or right-handed. Enable or disable the child walk. Change the sleep temperature, the sleep time or the temperature unit. But probably the most interesting feature is the calibration function. Using soldering iron thermometer the user can measure the temperature of the tip and later using the calibration function he can adjust the readings of the display to correspond with the actual temperature of the tip. Of course, the correction is plus minus 50 degrees, but this is more than enough. Let's return to the voltage override function, which is the second most interesting after the calibration function. You might ask, why do I need to manually change the operating voltage? Well, in some situations, you might end up using the device with a charger different from its default, let's say a less powerful charger, with a lower operating voltage and to avoid tripping the overcurrent protection of the charger you might need to lower the operating voltage of the soldering iron also. I could imagine this happening only if you're carrying the soldering iron as a pen without its default charger and the place you're going has some cell phone chargers available but with a lower voltage. Well, I think I've managed to cover everything about this product. To summarize, it's not a toy, it's a real deal 65 watts soldering iron. The device is amazingly handy, it comes with 6 soldering tips and most importantly it's heating lightning fast. So much with this video, if you'd like it, you know what to do. Bye and see you soon.